blah 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 or, or what I would do normally on the second email free uh, let's say for example website or blog site tutorial all right or even uh, free Facebook ads training when you start sending emails or, or, or for the first couple of emails of course you want to send them free stuff so they would uh, you would uh, be able to establish that connection with them by building trust and then once they realize that you you keep on providing value of course they would listen to you until you teach them some stuff and then you do marketing and all that if you want to learn how that works go to ifreedomblueprint.com or click the click the uh, link on the uh, description of this video i just put the link there okay and yes uh, there's a free facebook ads training it's a step-by-step -step tutorial on it all right now going back here so I've, i have the subject and then the content you already know how to edit it okay and then once you're done you just click on activate it's good to go and then from here I'll just click on activate for this one okay just to show you how it uh, completely works now from here I want to er add a third email to be sent on day two so again add email so I added an email it will always show here on top sequence message so this is now again second email onward sent to current and future subscribers so we have zero one this is to be sent after two days save changes it will refresh from here let's go to this one sequence message oops let's go back real quick just refresh continue okay so what I want to do from here all right so I'm on the sequence message so this is to be sent after two days and this is the third email sequence message I would send another freebie because I want to build trust and connection to the lead free um Google Ads training or free Google Ads certification and then just edit the content provide value and then you just let's are done click on activate it will refresh so there see welcome message zero one two so how many emails can you add you can add as much as you want all right you can also even configure this to uh, to be sent on a certain day that's not even after the last email that was sent for example the last one were on day two so it will be sent after two days let me show you this one real quick so add email so here's the sequence message meaning this is the one that we're working on so click on the zero day second email onwards set this to send to current and future subscribers for the autoresponder time value let's say for example I want this to be sent after five days so five after five days you can save changes it will refresh it will be at the bottom okay from here so this will be sent after five days but this is the first second third and fourth so it's just the fourth email 
change this to free freelancing cheats cheat sheet freelancing cheat sheet edit the content and then click on activate and then it will refresh and it's good to go now again as I said earlier you can add as much emails as you want to and you can configure the days which is this one to any day you prefer so it doesn't have to be on a specific sequence of uh, uh, continuous day or uh, yeah continuous days or a uh, specific uh, pattern like every other day no you can configure it to any day you prefer on when you want the emails to be sent each of the emails all right so that's how it works that's how very user-friendly mailing boss is okay so let me just show you okay so everything is activated okay now again all the emails for this specific sequence is configured to be sent to the specific list which I showed you earlier and just to show you again this is for this demo 20 email list because this is the one connected to that specific sequence so demo 20 email list so all the subscribers for this specific list will be sent to let's go to email sequence will be sent to this demo 20 email sequence so all the emails that you have here will be sent according to the days you want them to be sent to that demo 20 email list but the question is how about the email itself the emails that it will be coming from so let's double check quick mm -hmm. Let me check something and just to show you. Update. See, as of now, demo uh, demo twenty rather. I have one subscriber. Here, nothing to change really. So let's go to the list. Demo twenty email list. Let's check the update from here all right you click on so we went to list again all right we went to list and then de demo 20 let's go back here so just to show you again on the lists demo 20 let's go to update click on advanced from here if you want to configure the emails it will be coming from this is where you put the emails and even the emails you wanted for the responses to be sent to okay you can even have let's say your domain here so in my case I have admin at ifreedomblueprint.com and on this one you can change this so I can change this to uh, uh, the Palo Santana at gmail.com okay it doesn't have to be the same the from email and the reply to email doesn't have to be the same the the reply to email can be a gmail email but from uh, for the uh, from email or the sender email it has to be a one with the uh, your uh, domain on it okay the request for this one you just email support or you can raise a ticket instead now to raise a ticket just to show you, you go to the back office you go to help click on support click on support and then you just request for the email to be added for this one because this is a drop down okay you cannot just add an email to it no it's a drop down that has to be approved by the support or by mailing boss 
because if you go here menu you have domains see I have ifreedomblueprint.com alright so again that's how easy it is to, add, to create an email sequence from here you have learned how to create an email sequence how to connect the email sequence to a list all right and even how to request for the email or to make changes on the emails that uh, the sequence will be coming from so going back here again stop this ad okay so if I if you have a health website let's say health.com anybody who registers their names and emails on health.com all right which is this one those will go to an email list in mailing boss and all those emails that gets added to that specific list they will be sent an email sequence which you have also made from mailing boss okay for the email list it can come from a website or sales funnel and you can also add emails manually like what I just showed you alright so that's about it for this video if you uh, learned anything from this video give it a thumbs up if you uh, think this would help other people please do share it and if you want to learn more just subscribe and uh, tick the bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you have any questions just comment below or message me on my Facebook page and I'll either answer it or even make a video out of it so we can share the knowledge to everybody by the way if you want me to show you how to uh, configure or connect the email list coming from the website or sales funnel comment below them as a web uh, website to email list demo okay just website to email list demo all right so just like that the video is over and i'll see you on the next one let's go